Good morning and warm greetings from a cold Ladakh. Sitting in my solar heated room with plus 20 inside and minus 15 outside, I am happy to share that the passive solar heated buildings at our alternative university, Hayal, have won this year's National Energy Efficiency Innovation Award. After 30 years of passive solar buildings at Sekmol School, three years ago we started a unique experiment to build four different kinds of passive solar heated mud buildings. We then scientifically monitored and compared various buildings in Ladakh. The results were fascinating. In January, the coldest month, while the solar building stayed between 18 to 25 degrees, 90% of the time, the fossil fuel heated buildings stayed at around plus 10 and the unheated ones went down to minus 5 degrees. The beauty of these buildings is that they are built with eco-friendly waste materials like clay, which is abundant in Ladakh, and straw waste that is rescued from burning in Punjab. When the Punjab straw is mixed with Ladakhi clay, we get these lightweight insulating blocks to make houses that do not need any fire to heat, cutting pollution once in Punjab and a second time in Ladakh. Here's how it works. These buildings are oriented towards the south where the winter sun roams and the double glazed south facade captures all the sun's energy and stores it in our unique no-cost battery. No cost because this heat battery uses water pockets as battery fluid and they are made out of plastic waste bottles. And at night, the water battery releases the heat to the room. To retain this precious heat indoors, we use heavy insulation in the walls, floors and ceilings. And they are made out of wood waste and wool waste from the local Pashmina industry. Our latest experiment is in using solar passive mud principles along with RCC frame structures so that you can have conventional buildings but with all the benefits of solar passive heating. What all this means practically is well nirvana. Nirvana from the punishing cold winters, higher human productivity, better use of resources and better ecology, clean air, and clean cities. This is not a story of just sustainable development. This is a story of restorative development, regenerative development, and that's what the planet needs now.